everybody. I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Officer for Enterprise DNA. And what I wanted to do today was just follow up on a demonstration that Sam Mackay did last week at the Enterprise DNA Summit, and where he showed how you could create, using the tools and methodologies we provide, a really fantastic report in well under an hour. And so what I wanted to do in this video and then in a couple more that will follow this is just show you a few more tools and tricks that you can use to create really excellent visuals um, in almost no time flat. And so the thing I want to focus on today is SVG graphics. And these are typically kind of hard to create if you're creating them from scratch. But through the one of the tools that Enterprise DNA provides, um, the Quick Measures Pro uh, tool that Greg Deckler has developed, um, you can actually create these really quickly and easily. And so what I want to show you is we've got just some dummy data here in terms of, you know, monitoring computer cores um, for temperature and latest reading. And this table is not really jumping out in terms of, you know, kind of what the, what the key facts and findings are on here. And so let's, let's add some graphics to this to make this a lot easier to read at first glance. And so what we want to do is, well, let me just quickly show you the data model. So it's really simple that we've just got our extended dates table, and that just feeds into this CPU monitoring data, which just has core, the date of the latest reading, and the temperature. So really, really simple. And then we've got in our measures is we have two flag measures. So one is a monitor flag, um, which takes a look at is the is the monitoring data up to date. So is, if the selected value of the latest reading is today, then um, it gets a value of zero. If it's if it's not today, it gets value of one. And then similar flag for temperature. Um, so we don't want our, our CPUs going over 73 degrees Celsius. So um, if it's greater than 73, it gets a one, and if not, it gets a zero. And so we'll see how that works in a minute. Okay, so what we want to do is jump into Quick Measures Pro. And we're going to create three um, SVGs here. So what, the first one we're going to do is, is gauge. And I typically don't like gauge visuals um, in a in kind of their own card or their own their own space. But the one place I do like them um, because I think otherwise they take up too much room and convey too little information. But the one place I do like them is the small multiples within tables, um, and so that's what we're going to create here. And so what we do is we just go. Um, We'll choose our value column. So in this case, it's going to be um, temperature. And we'll select OK. And then um, our category is going to be cores. And let's say, let's say that we, we want to start warning anything over 65 degrees and anything under 40, we definitely want to kind of treat as well into the safe range. And so we'll have that mid range between 40 and 65. So let's, we can, we can use any, um, any hex codes from our color theme, or we can use named colors. So let's make this simple for now. And we'll just do blue and cyan for the middle range and then red for the high range. And we'll keep the, um, we'll keep the size at 50. Um, for now, we can always change that. Um, so we just go to DAX and let's call this uh, temperature gauge. And we're going to create that in our key measures table. And it's going to be an image URL. So it looks good. So now we can just hit create and that created in our, in our key measures. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to create a blinking dot and that one is going to be using our, um, temperature flag. 
and we'll hit OK. And we've got a red fill color, line color. Oh, let's make the line color red. Um, I don't want that black line around it. And that otherwise looks OK. Um, go to Dax. And we'll call this um, Temp Warning. And again, key measures. Oh, data category, let's call this image URL. And let's create that one. And the last one we want to create is one called flatline. Um, and this one we are going to um, choose our, our other flag, our monitor flag. And this is the one to see if our sensor is active. And we'll see what this one does. And we'll look at the DAX. Key measures. We want to do image URL. And create. Oh, and we could have, re we could have renamed that one to something shorter, which we can do in the measures table. Okay, so that looks good. Um, we're getting a, an error on our temperature gauge, and let's just see. There's, there's probably just some formatting. Oh, for some reason, sometimes this this happens that you just have to delete these comments. These two comments break into into separate lines, and so if you just delete those, and then move the variable. I don't know why, I don't know why it line breaks on this sometimes. Um, and then just delete that comment and then we hit return. Okay. That now looks fine. And now let's take a look at how these, how these look. So let's, let's pop our temperature gauge into the table. And we can see that that's, that's showing us, you know, low, um, high and mid. Um, so that's looking good. Um, let's also drop, um, our flat line. So let's, let's call this, let's just change the name of this something shorter. Let's call this, um, let's call this sensor status. And you can see that these SVG measures would be really complex to create otherwise, but through quick measures, it's just basically, you know, picking your columns and then dropping them into your table. So let's, let's take the sensor status, drop that in below our gauge. And you can see right here that now it really pops out which sensors are, are inactive. So we've got core number six, which hasn't been updated in a week. And then uh, core number two, which hasn't been updated since yesterday, but the rest of these are, are actively, are actively monitoring. And so the last thing we want to do is take a look at our temperature warning. Um, and this is one, if, if we've got any that are, that are overheating over 73 degrees and let's drop that in. And we can see now that that provides a good, a good alert. Um, if we've got, if we've got a core that's, that's overheating to the point where it could cause some damage. So you can now see that just in, in a couple of minutes, we can, we can generate these really nice graphics, drop them in the table. And this now provides a, a really quick at a glance snapshot. I think it's a pretty, um, I think it's a, it's a pretty eye catching table. We can maybe just put a border around this, um, and yeah, let's go general. Yeah, let's throw a border around this. And and that now that that is just a nice looking dashboard, I think, in terms of being able to monitor our core status. So um, I hope you found that helpful. I've got a couple more 
tips coming up soon in terms of other quick visuals we can use to add to our uh, our speed build. Um, so as always, um, thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.